Making the perfect mashed potato comes down to two things, what potato you use and what you use to mash it. Here is the number one choice. This is a russet or an Idaho or a baking potato. That is my potato of choice for fluffy mashed potatoes. Good second choice, Yukon Gold. We brought a big pot of water to a boil. Let's get peeling. I'm just using any potato or vegetable peeler to peel out the potatoes. You wanna get all the skins off and peel out the eyes, just because that's gonna add a discoloration to your mashed potatoes later. Once everything is off that potato, go ahead and cut it into large chunks, but try and keep the chunks similar sizes to each other so they cook evenly in the water. Once you have them all cut up about the same size, we're gonna bring our water to a boil and we're gonna season that really well with some salt. Remember, all this salt I'm putting in here, it seasons the water, some of which the potato will absorb. So important to make sure that's well salted. Now we're gonna rinse these potatoes because we want to rinse the starch off before we boil them so that we can make sure these are gonna be fluffy and not gooey. Once we're finished mashing our potatoes, we're gonna add some butter and some milk or cream, but we don't wanna add that cold to our hot potatoes because it would cool it down. So let's heat that up about a cup of milk and I'm going to take a stick of butter and heat this up together so that when it comes time, we're not cooling our potatoes down. So 20 minutes in, let's check our potatoes and see how they're doing. What I'm gonna be looking for is a potato that falls apart really easily and doesn't have any resistance to it. So take a knife, cut it and see it falls apart really, really nicely. This is going to mash perfectly and make it nice and fluffy. Let's strain these potatoes. I'm just giving it a quick rinse with some warm water. That's just to wash off any more of the starch. Then we're gonna bring it back in the hot stock pot and we're gonna mash them up. Now here's the most important part of making mashed potatoes and it's using this food mill. Once the potato is pureed one time, you're not beating it over and over again, which causes that potato to be really gluey. So we're going to mill these potatoes into the hot stock pot to try and keep it hot for as long as possible. Place that food mill over the pot Add the potatoes in here. You might have to do it in batches, and then we're gonna start milling. Go ahead and pour in your milk and butter as well. That'll give it a little bit of liquid to help ease the potatoes through the mill. So a little perseverance to keep scraping those potatoes down, but they're all through now. I'm gonna take them and transfer them here to this bowl, and then we'll season them up. Now we don't want to work these too much. We don't wanna work that starch into being a, a, a gluey mess, but this is looking really, really nice. Some salt I'm gonna put in here. Now if you're being really particular, you're gonna use some white pepper. I'm not so particular, I use black. Don't beat it or mix it, but fold it in so you have nicely seasoned potatoes. Then sprinkle some chives or some parsley on top and take it right to the table. Mm, perfect, fluffy mashed potatoes. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click over here. If you'd like to learn about our food mill, click over here. And if you have any questions or comments, suggestions for more basics, put them in the comment section below.